Le vi la uña. <laughs> goofball. I'm a goofball. Outtakes. All right, you ready? Show sure enough, man. This is Janice Gaines and you may know me as a recording artist, a gospel recording artist, but I am also a mom, a wife. I should say wife first. <laughs> Listen, it's my husband in the background. The thing is, once you're a mom of little ones, you know you have to remind yourself that those little ones aren't your everything. So, I'm a wife, a mom of one and one on the way, and I'm a sister, a friend, the director of diversity at my church. Hey, Grace Chapel Franklin. Woo woo. A professional pirate's booty cleaner upper. Because if you have kids and they eat pirate's booty, you know that the dust from that snack goes everywhere. So, anyway, at home, I have to do it all. I love to cook and all of these wonderful things that I'm sure you do too. And I want us to connect about those regular everyday life things. So, this is going to be called Backstage Bonus, and we're just gonna be talking about marriage life, mom life, faith life, all the things that make life real that we never get to talk about if I'm on stage just singing. I love my job, and the part of my job that I really also love is getting to connect with you guys after a show, and so this is an extension of that. So guys, honestly, my hope is that through this series, you'll get to know a little bit more about me, and I'll get to know a little bit more about you, and you know, we'll just start a dialogue. I'll do the videos, you leave the comments, we'll talk back and forth. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with five things that you don't know about me, or probably don't know about me. Thing one, hmm, I have a little old lady that lives inside of me. If you get to know me, I'm both serious and goofy, but most importantly, when I respond honestly to life, I genuinely respond like a really old lady. So much so that people have nicknamed me through the years who didn't even know each other. Let's see, LaShawn Big Shiz, LaShawn Daniels. When we were recording my first album, Greatest Life Ever, he nicknamed me Janice Dean instead of Janice. I was like, whatever. My manager, Adrienne Lindsay, she calls me Geraldine. And it's just little things like, you know, if I'm looking out the window and I see a tree has fallen on a neighbor's trampoline, I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that tree over there with the tree. And I just say it in a way that just makes them laugh at me. And I guess at the end of the day, I'm an old black lady from Memphis, Tennessee. What can I say? Number two, thing number two that you may not know about me, and you actually may not know much about, but if you do on the Enneagram, the famous Enneagram personality scale, I am a number six. I am a loyalist. When I love you, I love you all the way, okay? And you're never getting away from me, ever. I stick with the people that are mine for sure. Now, the other side of that is I can have a tendency to be anxious, is what the book says, you know, but you know, what do they know? I'm just kidding, they know a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's weird reading about yourself. If you don't know about the Enneagram, I would encourage you to go look it up. The Enneagram system is actually an ancient system, but it's been revived. It's a, a personality description that goes from one to nine and everybody has a number and you know, everybody, feel some kind of way when they identify their number, but that's okay. You know, it's good to know these things. Ken Crone, maybe, he wrote a book called The Road Back to You with a woman whose name I'm blanking on. It's called The Road Back to You. Go check out the book. It's an amazing, amazing uh, book just to learn about you and your loved ones because once you know your no the numbers of your loved ones, it really helps you to relate better, actually. So anyway, when you read it, I'm six. Thing three, I love to cook. Cha, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> I be throwing down. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not just kidding. But I really, really love to cook. And my grandmother Merle, my mom's mom, 
taught me how to cook when I was a kid because she loved to cook all kinds of things. She had lived in different places in the country because my grandfather was a Christian Methodist Episcopal uh, pastor, CME pastor. So he was an itinerant pastor. So they moved to different places and she picked up all the cuisine in all these different cities. They were in Louisiana at some point. They were in Ohio and all these things she taught me. And even more so, she passed down the love for different types of food and figuring out how to make them. So, you know, I've been plant-based at some point. You know, you know how girls do. You know, we get a, um, we get going on a little diet, and then you know we figure out how to make everything for that diet. Then we move on to the next one. So you know, I've done that a couple times. I have not done keto, and I don't think I will because I do love carbs. And what's life without carbs? It's not good for me, so I'm not gonna do it. But I've done plant-based cooking. That's the bomb. I've done um, <clears throat> different types of cuisines, like making gumbo, even though I haven't ever lived in Louisiana. Um, pad Thai, I just made the bomb pad Thai the other day. I'm here to tell you, slamming, authentic, so good. Um, yeah, I just love to cook. I love to try new things in the kitchen and make my husband try it and see what he thinks. In order to be a good cook, I think you have to identify flavors and textures. I learned a lot about that when I did plant-based cooking. For instance, like when I started, um, I was plant-based for a while because with my allergies, soy and tomatoes, and my son's allergies when he was first born, he was allergic to dairy and corn, which is an everything processed. I just thought I'll make everything and we'll just go all the way with a vegan lifestyle. But what I learned is I didn't miss meat as much as I missed the texture of meat and the flavor of things. So you have to be able to identify if you want to make good food, the flavors that you taste and how they come together and the texture of every um, component of the dish. And I think if you can do that, you can be a chef. My favorite dish to make, I don't know that I have a favorite. I think my favorite is to decide that I want something and then go make it, to have it when I want it. My favorite is to be able to do what I want to do. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Backstage bonus. So thing number four that you may not know is that I have six brothers and sisters, six. And they are just some of my favorite people in the world. I'm number two, so my older brother and then me, and then there are five more uh, uh, under that. And um, even though I'm number two, I'm still the bossiest because my brother happens to not be bossy. So somebody near top had to be bossy, so I just figured it would be me. Um, I love them so much. I have twin sisters. Two of them are twins, and they're identical. Um, which is interesting. If you have twins in your family, you know they are a social community in themselves. And if we just be trying to get in, like, can we? Can, can we? <laughs> but they are just so talented and gifted and smart. And I just love them. They're awesome moms. And then my other sister is such an amazing mom. And I just, I just think she's one of the coolest most resourceful people I've ever met. She can literally build anything from nothing. I don't know how she does that, but she's been that way since she was a kid. And then I have awesome brothers. My big brother, um, my older brother, John, is an awesome musician, songwriter, singer. He has a new song out called You Keep Up Alive. You know what I'm saying? Little sister shout out. Um, and he's just awesome. He paints. And you know, like I look at his paintings and I be like, how did you get that? <laughs> how did you come out knowing how to paint, how to sing, how to write, and all those things? And you know, the rest of us, we're just piecing gifts together. I'm here to tell you, John is so talented. And then my younger brothers, one of my younger brothers is at UNC right now, just being amazing and studying computer science. And then my youngest brother, who is just like my heart, he was born after I went to college. So we've always had a special bond just because he was like my little kiddo and I just love him so much. So I probably still treat him like a baby. I, he's probably tired of that. Anyway, I'll ask him. But I have awesome siblings and I love them so much. 
Thing number five that you may not know about me is that before I was a singer, I was a seventh grade math teacher in the Bronx. Yes, I taught middle school math. Yes, I enjoyed it. Yes, I still adore those kids who are now adults. Um, and it was just one of the most rewarding, one of the most challenging um, jobs I've ever had. No two days were ever the same. And you know, you just fall in love with kids and then at the end of the year they leave you and you get a whole new batch, you fall in love with them. But it was just um, an amazing journey. I think they are a huge reason why I sing now because I used to sing to them as a reward for doing well. And you know, kids in the Bronx, they not about to, kids period are not gonna lie to you. Kids in the Bronx, they're gonna actually tell you the whole truth. And <laughs> when they were encouraged by my singing, I thought, huh, I might have something. So let's try to do this. Um, but yeah, I loved that job and it was a, a great season in life. And I still keep in contact with a lot of them today. So yeah, used to be a teacher. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, episode of Backstage Bonus. I've enjoyed sharing these things with you. If you have questions, I wanna to get to know you, um, how we uh, are the same, how we're different. Do you have a lot of siblings? Do you only have one? Do you have none? Let me know, scroll down and put it in the comment. And if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Can't wait to chat with you. Scroll down, put your name in your comments there and I'll come see and talk back. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Janice Gaines everywhere. See you there.